As an information technologist, you are going to be called upon sometimes to think out of the box. However, you can think a little bit too far out of the box sometimes. Here's an example. I have here before you an image from one of my favorite TV shows. The problem is it's on an iPhone. In older models of the iPhone, you could purchase an adapter to plug into a TV set. With this version, you have to deal with what is called a lightning adapter. That's a very, very small implement which goes into the bottom of the device. And then out of this, you'll notice that it has an HDMI slot. Well, naturally, you have to be somewhat familiar with HDMI. It's high definition. And uh, here is a connector which goes into the... I will disconnect the iPhone for better handling here. Which goes into the slot in the adapter. And now with the other end, you can plug it into a flat screen television and voila, get a picture, supposedly. Unless the TV is an old NTSC standard definition film, which is basically about this shape, and uh, only takes AV style inputs, inputs like, uh, like this. So the workaround, and I had to search around in the net to find it, was to acquire this exotic little box which converts from HDMI signals to ordinary television signals. And notice that the uh, HDMI input is of this type and sometimes you have to look up the different types of HDMI inputs in order to get the, uh, the holes to match, literally. So here we go, I plug it in and still trying to plug it in. Voila! So to review just a bit, I have a connection now between the adapter, which goes into the iPhone, the HDMI cable, and the HDMI converter, which will convert HDMI signals to normal standard television signals. And so the next thing to do is to plug in the video to video and the audio and the audio to audio as you can see and then from the from this end plug into the television set but there is something missing in the equation I did not figure on this this little device requires its own power so it is an active device and it has its own proprietary little cable that means you can't purchase it anywhere else and you have to connect it to the port as follows and then the other port is, is, is of a USB nature. Well, this needs to be powered, so where do you plug it in? It has to come from a power source. Fortunately, as I grab for my iPad, see how the complicated this is getting now? I have a little power adapter for the, I, for the iPad, which I am going to guess will function with this HDMI converter. Have I lost you yet? Now this is something that you should not do. You should not guess. I'm guessing that this power adapter will supply the right amount of voltage, the right amount of milliamps, and not blow up my HDMI converter. So I jack the USB cable in, plug it into the wall, and it goes into this converter. So now, again to review, I've got the adapter which goes into the iPad. Ha ha! Using my expertise in information technology. I've got my converter, I've got my AV cables, I've got my power cable, and now I've got spaghetti in front of my TV set. And I plug it into the TV set, fire up Netflix, fire up the picture, fire up the TV set, and this is what I get. Not exactly what I had in mind.